Hey everyone, Rogue Guild here, and today we have some really breaking news regarding both The Division 2 and Red Storm. Today when I was just sitting around eating lunch, I was scrolling on Twitter, and all of a sudden, I saw that Bond Diesel had posted something from Red Storm's official site that seems to confirm that they may be back on The Division 2. So full credit goes to Bond Diesel for alerting me that this was even a thing that was going on. I will leave a link to his uh, Twitter page and his EchoCast page where he initially tweeted this in the description of this video if you want to go check it out. But here we are on the Red Storm website where this news seems to have been broken or maybe leaked if it wasn't supposed to be out there already. Let's go through a bit of background on this. So basically, Red Storm departed Division 2 last year, or yeah, late last year, sort of around the Warlords time is when we learned they were no longer on the project. And ever since, people have speculated that they might be working on stuff on the background, but nothing official has tied them to the Division 2 in over a year. Now, ever since then, and if I go to their careers page up here where you can find this, they have been doing uh, a lot of hires. Some of these span back a few months, but their most recent one here is a lead level designer. And it was posted, I believe, what, like three days ago? And this seems to confirm that this job is tied to the Division 2. So what am I talking about? If we scroll down here, first it goes through the company description, which just talks about Ubisoft and their most popular titles. Now job description, here we go. Red Storm is seeking a talented lead level designer to work on the Division 2 with some of the most talented developers in the industry. If you are at the top of your game, have strong experience in level design and great leadership abilities, this job is for you. So, okay, there it is. Now, here's the thing. I'm not going to say this is 100% confirming that Red Storm is back on the Division 2. It's possible that this job description, because I'm sure they've hired for a lead level designer position before, right? So I'm not going to say it's outside the realm of possibility that they were hiring for this same job two, three years ago when they were working on the Division 2 officially and that this text has just been copy-pasted and they just looked over the fact that it says Division 2 here. I'm not going to say that that's impossible, but I am going to say with how uh, fragile that whole situation is and that relationship between Ubisoft and Massive, I mean between, sorry, Red Storm and Massive, it seems unlikely that they would let that slip through. Now, this would also not be the first time that something has leaked through um, job descriptions. I think both... Uh, Maybe not Red Storm, but Massive certainly in the past kind of hinted at Division 2 with some of their job hires. I think Star Wars was hinted at pretty heavily. I thought that some of those were related to Division 3 before they announced Star Wars was coming. Um, but this could also just be a slip up on, you know, Red Storm's end that they are yeah, working on the Division 2 before that has been announced anywhere officially by Ubisoft or any other parties. Now, there's really nothing else huge here, except for you can go through the responsibilities there. This is all pretty standard, I think, for what you usually see in these job listings. But down at qualifications, it specifically says five plus years professional level design experience with time spent building PvP and PvE worlds. And now some of these are also pretty standard. Strong game design skills must be able to intelligently discuss the strengths and weaknesses of recent multiplayer shooter titles. Must be able to describe techniques used to make the fun, compelling PvP and PvE levels and systems. Now I will say that in all of my time looking through job listings on Red Storm and Massive, I've never seen PvP mentioned specifically. And so obviously Red Storm was the main PvP um, dev for The Division 1 and 2. And so it's certainly a very interesting detail to note, you know, if this is actually true and they are coming back to the Division 2, it could hint that we are getting some sort of Year 3 PvP-related stuff. I've heard some, I can't really say too much, I've heard a little bit of rumblings that we might be seeing some of that, and so this could be pointing towards that, or again, it could just be a coincidence and a slip-up. We don't really know at this point, but I think it's pretty good evidence. Also down here, pretty interesting, willing and able to travel outside of the U.S. Obviously, since they're linked to Ubisoft, that makes sense, but... Given Red Storm and Massive's relationship in the past with working on The Division 2, that would make sense because I think I've even seen on Twitter plenty of times Terry went over to um, Sweden, what city are they in? Malmo and uh, Massive HQ. So this is interesting. The PvP stuff is interesting. And obviously, most of all, they name dropped Division 2 right here. So that's going to do it for today, guys. I just wanted to quickly report this pretty big news. And if this does turn out to be true, I wouldn't be surprised if around E3 or maybe even before, we start hearing about how Red Storm is now tied back onto the Division 2, and we start seeing what kind of content they may be working on. I went on, just before recording this, on Terry's Twitter, who if you don't know, Terry Spear is the creative director at Red Storm, kind of the equivalent of Julian Garrity, who used to be on the Division, um, and he's been pretty quiet over the last few weeks. He hasn't done anything on there that I've seen since retweeting uh, Division 2's Year 3 announcement a few weeks ago. So there certainly could be some stuff going on, and this is certainly right here. This is the big news of the day. 
that this is dropped right in their job listing. Again, doesn't 100% confirm it, but I think our chances are pretty darn good. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you can be updated every time I upload. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this apparent news. Do you think this confirms it? Do you think there are some skepticism that should be held? I'm very curious what you all think about this news and if they are back on the project, if you are excited for the possible return of Red Storm to the Division franchise. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great day. And until the next one, guys, Rogue Gold, out.